Okay, Sagittarius. So, I don't know. I'm getting... It's just one of those days. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Break stuff. I keep hearing that. Everybody sucks. <laughs> but the energy, I don't, I don't feel as bad. So I feel like maybe, maybe somebody likes Limp Biscuit. Maybe they're just listening to the song. If it ain't that, then there's probably a quiet, calm, destructive force or nature within that's kept beneath the surface and it's not even registering because I don't even see it. I don't even feel it. But I keep hearing that song. <laughs> so I'm also getting the archer shooting arrows at the stars. Okay. Now. It's nighttime. So are you trying to send out a signal? Are you trying to send out a signal to another person? Are you wishing for something? Are you waiting to see where it lands? Are you throwing something out there waiting to see where it lands? Are you making a wish? Okay. I'm not sure what the correlation is between the two, but maybe you're just kind of sitting and thinking about somebody, maybe fantasizing, daydreaming, wishing, hoping, about to shoot your shot while listening to some of your favorite music. Okay. I don't know. I feel like whoever this is that I'm channeling, it's a very sweet, soft, gentle nature. They may have some inner pent up rage or they may just like angry music. You know? I don't know. Well, let's see. All right. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. That's interesting. I'm gonna stop saying that. Okay. Four cups. Yeah, something wants me to take this. Three hazards. Something wants me to look at it. Something wants me to be aware of it. So, <sighs> that reminds me of, you could possibly be imagining, fantasizing, uh, maybe connecting with another person. Maybe somebody that's in the spotlight. Okay. Maybe, because I see multiple different stars. Maybe there's lots of different people that, you know, maybe you like. And just throwing it up there to see which one kind of comes back. Okay. See which one responds. It could be something like that. I don't know that it's necessarily... Um, any one person in particular that you have in mind. But there's something very, very dreamy and fantasy-like about whatever this is. Is it like imagining having somebody? I don't know. Okay. Full. Okay. That's at the bottom of the deck. So maybe a surprise. Something could be a surprise. Maybe you're wanting to surprise somebody. Maybe you're wanting to start over. Like start over completely from scratch. Meaning that I'm getting something about a reflective energy of maybe wishing somebody had never dealt with another person. <gasps> Interesting. Okay. I gotta stop saying that word. I'm getting like virgin, pure. Somebody wishing they were never touched. Somebody wishing that they were pure. Could be. Literally getting virgin. Literally. But I don't feel like it is that energy. I don't know. But it's like so it's like somebody wishing that they were pure, had never been touched. Now I'm hearing like a virgin. Touched for the very first time. Like a virgin. With your heartbeat. 
Next to him, I'm gonna give you all my love, boy. My fear is fading fast. Been saving it all for you, cause only love can last. You're so fine, and you're mine. I'll be yours till the end of time, cause you make me feel. Is this generally a Sagittarius energy? Are you dealing with, are you dealing with a Pisces? Cause I was sitting here thinking this is more like a Pisces energy. So are you dealing with a Pisces? Okay, so you have tower, which is Mars. So Aries, Scorpio, hangman, Pisces. It's a very dreamy energy. It's dreamy, like a partnership. Where do you have Pisces in your chart? King of Swords. Literally, somebody is like literally fantasizing. Okay, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. I like it, I can dig it. Nine of Cups. This is so funny. That's a tall, I don't, know, I don't know if I want to call it a skyscraper. It's a tall apartment complex. It's the apartment complex. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what this is. So maybe you have, because this doesn't generally hit me as like a, a Sagittarius energy. Maybe you have a Pisces energy that's fantasizing about you. Okay, or a water energy. Um, uh, um, Aries or uh, Scorpio or, I mean, it doesn't have to be those. Fours are, let me see, two, three, four, that's cardinal. And then you have, you know, seven, eight, nine, or eight, nine, ten, that's uh, um, mutable. So we have cardinal and mutable energies here. Okay. Is this person I guess is this I guess is it who is this person I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this person maybe is interested in Sag who is this person that's interested in Sag ten of cups two of cups got that four of swords I'm putting that back Was at the bottom of the deck. This is when they came up. See the fool again. I don't know why I did that. It, things keep. Uh, this is weird. This is okay. This is weird, and I don't even know why I'm doing that. But it's like I keep putting them back in. So I'm getting this, maybe there's a lot of other people that may be interested in whoever this person is, or maybe whatever. I don't know. All I know is this is a dreamy energy, okay? So there could be somebody who maybe has a lot of people that are interested in them, and somebody's like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I want that one. I want that one. That's it. I don't want anything else. Yeah, but look at this one. See, see, it's like I keep, I keep doing that. I keep wanting to put the cards back. So let's see if it happens again. I mean, you've probably seen it. So, but that's kind of mm, Ace of Swords. There's going to be some kind of communication. Somebody wants to come back together with you, or somebody, at the very least, somebody wants to meet you. Okay, 
generally this could be like a, a reunion, but you know, what if it's just a union, okay? There is somebody who is very dreamy about another person, okay? It's somebody, it's, and somebody could be completely different from whoever it is. I mean, it's two different types of people. Could be polar opposites, you know, could be very, you know, unlikely, all right? It's like somebody, it's somebody only wants a particular person. That's it. That's literally it. This is such a dreamy energy. That's the weirdest thing. I had a message come down from another thing. It said, I love cheating. I think it said, I love cheating. Could somebody be already attached or in relationship with somebody? And they're dreaming about another person? Because I can't help, I can't excuse the fact that I saw that. That could be it too. Maybe somebody gets really excited and they just like the chase of somebody new or something. Maybe they're like, <sighs> strange. If, if, if I'm going to incorporate that, if I'm going to incorporate that, okay, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave that how that is. But there is definitely going to be somebody that's communicating with another person. So let me just make sure that there isn't any kind of cheating situation or scenario. Because I did see the three of, three of pentacles in the beginning and we have this three of cups here. Let me make sure there isn't any kind of a cheating scenario. And again, this doesn't have to be somebody that likes you. You could be feeling this way about another person. King of Cups, Ten of Hazards, Five of Cups. I don't feel like it is. I don't feel like it is. Well, Ten of Hazards could could mean like indicate a family, but I don't feel like it is. I feel like maybe it's just something. There's maybe there's something that you shouldn't have. Maybe there's something that other people oppose, okay? It would be like, you know, people that, maybe you broke up with somebody and your family, and you and you told, talked mad trash about, it's just, just an example, I'm not saying this is you. But let's say, you know, you talk mad trash about somebody and then you realize I shouldn't have talked trash about that person because they really were a good person. I was just mad. And everyone thinks that they're a bad person and they're really not. And now it would almost seem like cheating on your family if you'd be like, I want to go back with that person. And everybody's like, oh, hell, what's the matter with you? And they're like, well, I kind of like, I might have really over embellished a little. I might have really, I, I might, you know, it's, it would be something like that. So somebody could be doing something behind somebody's back or cheating, like in that kind of sense. Okay. If it is that, if not, then maybe somebody's, I'm, 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 I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. I'm done. All right. That's what I got. All right. Death. I don't know. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Because I don't want these, I don't want these running on because I'm trying to keep these short and it's already at 14 minutes. I'm just getting it's going to be communication. I don't technically see it as a cheating scenario. I see it as, you know, Somebody probably already has something established and maybe, and that could be where that whole virgin thing came from. Somebody wishes that they maybe, not, not that people really, you know, would give up their children or their family. I, I know that and you know that. But sometimes people wish, you know, I wish I had started all over again and maybe it's like, okay, I wish I had, I wish I had, I've said, I've remember hearing this before. I've even mentioned this before. I wish I had met you longer or known you longer or met you sooner so I could love you longer. You know, kind of like that. I, I'm done. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. All right. That's it. That's it, Sag. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Hit the thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If any of this reading makes no sense to you, which maybe there might be some parts in here that doesn't, but, and if it doesn't, if there's any kind of, anything that's confusing, don't accept it. 
you know, if it doesn't resonate with you, it means it's not yours. Just take whatever does resonate with you and that, and that is yours. Run with that. All right. So don't claim things that aren't yours. All right. That's it. Good luck. I will see you next week. Have a good weekend.